cultural cooperation between countries and artists is known as the best way for widening understanding and peace worldwide. This kind of diplomacy was borne in mind in the process of creating intergovernmental agreement between Italy and Serbia signed in Rome on November 9, 2009. Namely, two ministries, the Ministry of Education, Universities and Research of Italy and the Ministry of Education, Science and Technological Development of Serbia agreed that different events in the field of music, dance, theatre, visual arts and design should be organised in order to build up a cultural network of the two countries. In the frame of this agreement, a Memorandum of Understanding was signed among Conservatory of Music, Giuseppe Tertini, Trieste, Italy, University of Arts, Faculty of Music, Belgrade, and University of Navi Sad, Academy of Arts. Its aim was to support the cooperation of the three institutions in three different fields of interest. The first was the exchange of symphony orchestras, in which partners were obliged to participate either with orchestra musicians or with the conductor and soloists. The second was implementing the computer program LOLA, created by Conservatory of Music, Giuseppe Tartini in Trieste, at the two other institutions. The program provides a low-latency audiovisual transmission system for network musical performances and interaction, allowing rehearsals, lectures and joint programs between the musicians that are distant from each other. The third field of interest was implementing the Erasmus Plus program. It has probably been the most successful international exchange program between music academies in Europe, with the efficiency of 30 visits of professors and students from Trieste to Novi Sad and vice versa. The contact among the three partners was established due to the fact that these institutions are the members of the European Association of Conservatories, AEC. The organization focuses on recognition of institutions for higher education and music as an important factor of European culture. The annual meetings of the AEC were therefore the initial moments for establishing contacts and professional understanding necessary for this kind of serious collaboration. The team of the organizers from Italy and Serbia thinks that the whole project was an absolute success. I think that this is a great occasion for reinforcing the relationship between our people. I'm very happy with this concert, which has seen for the second time an Italian and Serbian orchestra change their nationality and their nationality. We have already been in the studio for the next year for the events that involve also the other figurative, the theater, the cinema. Confermare e rafforzare ancora di più la collaborazione tra questi due stati. Tutte e due volte devo dire che abbiamo fatto un lavoro grosso, non è facile organizzare una tournée così, però grazie al Ministero di Istruzione e della Ricerca italiana eh, abbiamo avuto questa occasione di fare il progetto grosso a livello eh, mai fatto fino adesso, almeno in Serbia. Tutti questi ragazzi magari. Uno di loro ha occasione di uscire fuori del, loro, de, del suo paese per la prima volta. Everybody who was actually seeing and who was present at these concerts here in Italy as well as in Serbia could witness a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of joy, a lot of uh, good vibrations, a lot of positive energy that these young people brought to the stage. Uh, and these four concerts that we have. Uh, in Serbia, two in Serbia and two in, in Italy. So I think that this cooperation will last long and that this is just the beginning of a long, long, uh, fruitful cooperation in, be in between our institutions.
The programme in 2015 was realised by the National Symphony Orchestra of Students of Italian Conservatories and the Maestro Giuseppe Grazioli in three cities, Trieste, Belgrade and Novi Sad. The young musicians, chosen from approximately 60 Italian conservatories, performed compositions by Nino Rota, Ottorino Respighi and Cello Concerto by Edward Elger with the young soloist Irena Josifosca from Academy of Arts, Novi Sad. The program in 2016 was played by Benso Orchestra, comprised of gifted students from Faculty of Music Belgrade and Academy of Arts Novi Sad. The conductor this time was a distinguished artist Bojan Sujic from Serbia, while the soloist, the young clarinet player Daniel Rosha, came from Conservatory of Music Trieste. The program was chosen to represent the two countries through music pieces that reflect their musical traditions. The audience in Novi Sad, Belgrade, Trieste and Milan heard the famous Italian Compriccio by Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky, introduction, theme and variation for clarinet and orchestra by Gioacchino Rossini, fantasy on Serbian themes by Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, the excerpts from Ballet, The Legend of Ohrid by Stevan Hristic, and finally Marsh Slav by Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. The students were tireless, playing for an encore de overture for the opera William Tell by Rossini, and at the very end, March on the Drina River by Stanislav Benicki. Both concerts were performed under the motto Notes of Friendship and were fully financially supported by Italian Ministry of Education, Universities and Research. As for the students, they were highly satisfied with the concerts and the possibility to experience such an important project. Sulla nostra stessa linea stiamo facendo musica, quindi non credo che ci sia nessuna difficoltà eh, a cooperare tra differenti nazioni e differenti paesi. Eh, e quindi sono, sono contento, sono eccitato di fare questo, di questo progetto. Di, eh, sono molto, ho voglia di, di arrivare a questa serata per, per iniziare il concerto. E, e avere appunto un uh, a nice time, uh, una, una bellissima esperienza con questa orchestra. Uh, I have to say I'm very excited about this project uh, because it's, it's a great opportunity for young people uh, to cooperate um, together and to make beautiful, beautiful music together. Uh, I think the orchestra has a great potential uh, to, um, to make great music and especially with this conductor. Um, I have a great time here. Um, this, the soloist, the, the clarinet player, is amazing. Um, he's, he's really, really great. Clarinet player, uh, this is my first time in this project and I honestly hope that um, sooner we, we also are going to have more opportunities to play together and hopefully this is not the last time here. Enjoy the concert! <laughs> I očekujemo visok kvalitet koncerta pošto su studenti odabrani sa oba fakulteta i s radom majstra Suđića koji je bio jako prijetan i konstruktivan smo dostili pokrenuti visok nivo. Ovaj projekat sada smatram da je izuzetna ideja i da je nešto jako plemenito prvenstveno u današnje vreme u našoj državi je situacija takva koja jeste da je umetnost na nivou na kakvom ništa drugo nije i ovako nešto uraditi prvenstveno za studente a ne gurati samo profesionalne orkestre u prvi plan je velika čast za nas da znamo da neko je sa te strane brine o nama i da je nekome i dalje stalo da mi sami postanemo da kažem spremni za neke profesionalne orkestre jer ovo je baš upravo projekat da kažem, kopija onoga što nas zapravo čeka. The plans for the future are big. 
The first necessary step is to sign a new contract between the music conservatories and academies of Italy and Serbia for a two years period. The second is certainly to include other arts in the project. In addition to new concert tour of the symphony orchestra, the organizers should focus on mapping the possible events in which fine arts will take place. Let's hope that in several years this artistic operation will spread on to all possible fields in which creative synergy of Italian and Serbian artists will be recognized.